Well, I was going to say stick it down through the top. And then yeah, you stick can... it down through the top. All right. It's fun. This is our annual open studios. We have them every year, the weekend before Thanksgiving. And it's a two-day open studio. And there are about 50 artists that are, you know, opening their studios to the public in both this building, which is the E.T. Wright building, and the Sandpaper factory, which is one street over. And we have all different kinds of artists. We have watercolorists, we have uh, oil painters, we have pastelists, we have jewelry makers, we have a little bit of everything here. So what is art? <laughs> oh gee, anything that you make using your hands and your creative, intuitive mind. Very relaxing, usually. When you're first learning something, it's not relaxing at all. You get very tense. But once your fingers learn what they're supposed to do, it's wonderful, whether it's painting or knitting or wool spinning. Art is, um, it's my life, actually. Um, it's a way of expressing myself. Um, there's many things that attract my eye and I like to put down on either canvas or paper what I feel from what I have just seen. I think art is absolutely necessary. Um, it just makes the world a better place, I think. For me, it's a... Um, wonderful form of expression. It's a huge challenge. It requires a lot of hard work, a lot of skill, a lot of learning from the masters who are both living and deceased. It's an endless process of learning. It's an ex a creative expression that's internal that you process outward for other people to enjoy. Well, I started when I was 50. Taking pictures of this is mostly my family, pictures of my family, and I turn it into either fantasy portraits or portraits with risk, realistic background, but my funnest thing is these are grandkids, and nieces, nephews, and turning them into fancy, oh, fantasy portraits. Well, I paint with acrylics, and I've been painting for, oh gosh, really all my life. Um, I, went, I did go to art school, but I really paint, um, it's really, it's, it's, it's life, everything I see around me. Um, it might be as I'm driving by the same stop, I'm stopping at the same stoplight every day, I might see a corner of a building that strikes me. And as in this painting over here um, in the south end of Boston, uh, that particular corner just grabbed me and I had to set up my easel there one day and just paint. So it um, could be someone's expression. I paint plain air a lot. I paint, paint in the studio. Uh, I've traveled to paint. I bring my paints with me. And uh, anything's fair game for subject. <laughs> what is art? <laughs> it is probably one of the most important forms of communication ever. And because when you consider over time, one of the only ways we know about like the ancient cave people in France, Lascaux and so forth, it's uh, through their art, through their cave drawings. It's, I feel I paint today's culture, I mean that's that's where I am, and that's what I see. Um, it's, it might be that broken down old building that I see every day um, that never gets torn down or maybe shouldn't get torn down, but it represents a time and place sometimes. Um, and I, I think that that's what art over time does capture, you know, for me anyway. Well, I do all kinds of different mediums. I do printmaking, I do clay work, I do um, watercolors, and a lot of mixed media. I like to mix things up. Um, art is something that gives the viewer some kind of emotion. It gives the viewer um, some kind of happiness, some kind of sadness, whatever the view, uh, the creator is trying to um, portray in their artwork. It's always something that comes from the heart. That's what I think. It's um, creation. 
it can be visual, it can be spiritual, it can be um, literature, anything that's created. Um, and it also can be the way someone does something. So why is it important? Because we got to do it. It's just, we were having this discussion the other day in light of the way the world is and all the seriousness. And is this frivolous? No, because this is what we're called to do. And, you know, art also reflects the culture and the society of its time. You know, what, you also need to celebrate the beauty of nature and uh, color. And it gives people pleasure. And it gives the artist pleasure in doing it. And I just love it. This is who I am. I've been doing it all my life. And it's, it's a catharsis, you know, if you have something that ails you, if you have issues, negative issues, I just, you go to work, you create, and you forget. Why is it important? Because it's expressing the person who is doing it. And sometimes it says something about what's happening in society at that time. Sometimes it just says something about who the person is. It's going to keep me alive well into my 90s. <laughs> alive and vibrant. Pablo Picasso, uh, Picasso, uh, Casals, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe, all of these people lived vibrantly uh, well into their 90s. Um, people, why do you get involved in that? It's going to keep me alive.